Once you guys got another video on how to migrate Windows to an SSD NVMe. So if you have a drive that is too small and you want to upgrade to a larger drive, or maybe your drive is failing and you want to put a new drive in, or maybe it's a case that you're going from a hard drive to an SSD or any of these scenarios, we're going to be using this external enclosure here to be able to clone all our current information, like our programs, our data, all that information over onto a brand new drive. We're going to be using this enclosure here temporarily just to put our NVMe drive in. And this will allow us to clone all the current information onto a brand new drive. You can see it comes with your user manual here. Also a little type C cable. And it also has this little standoff in case you want to use different size drives. And we have our enclosure right here, which is made of aluminium. Now, it really doesn't matter what enclosure you use. I'm just using this one because it was pretty cheap and it was on sale, a flash sale, and I picked it up. It was around about £12. Now, this is going to be useful because we can then plug this into the computer. There's no tools needed. And these enclosures are useful in case you don't have a spare M.2 slot on your motherboard for another drive so you can clone to it. This is a quick release, uh, no tools needed type drive which means it does have a thermal pad up the top here and all we need to do here is basically put in our drive there's a few different uh, sizes here you can use with that little standoff but we're going to be using the uh, normal NVMe drive here which is what we're going to use there's this little latch here that holds the drive in this little standoff here is what you would use this rubber grommet and this is to be used if you want to use different types of uh, drive smaller drives so we're going to use something like this and plug this into our little external enclosure. And you should just clip this into place here. Just need to make sure that plastic lever is all the way around there so it clips into place. And then we can lock it into position like so. Completely toolless, don't need any sort of screwdrivers or anything like that. We can close this down, put the cable in, and we're pretty much good to go. We can clone now to this drive and once we finish cloning, we can then remove that drive from here and place that into our computer and it will boot up and it will be a complete mirror image of what we've just cloned. Now I can probably hear you already shouting at the screen, what if I don't have a Type-C input on my motherboard? Well, you can use an adapter if you want to, or there's cables that you can get with an actual adapter on them. There is actual enclosures that come with this cable like this. This one doesn't come with it. But if you do, you can get one like this where you can adapt it straight away. Or you can get these little small adapters. They're pretty cheap, which will go from type C to uh, type A there. As you can see, just plug it on the end and you can plug this in your computer. It will be a bit slower. But again, you're, all you're trying to do here is use this as a way of plugging it into your computer. So once you've got this plugged into your computer, we can then clone to this drive. And then we can then change it out and put it into our computer and we should then be able to boot straight away because it does make the drive bootable. Now the software we're going to be using for this job is called ESAS. It's called Disk Copy, and that's what we're going to be using here. It's not free software, but we're going to go ahead and give this a go and see how this works. So you can see it's got quite good reviews, quite good feedback for this particular software. So let's go ahead and download it and install it on the system. So let's double click on the executable file here and say yes to the user account control and go ahead and install that on the system. You need to purchase a key here. I'm using the uh, single license key here. We're going to go ahead and put that in here and activate our product right here. So depending on what one you want to go for, $19.90 is for one month use. Not that expensive, but again, if you're looking to do the job, you can use this method and pretty much you will see something looking like this. So this is on my main system now, which is what I'm going to use to clone to show you. So it's a real machine. So we do have our free drives on here. We have our Sabrin uh, SSD. That is our enclosure. We also have a Western Digital Black drive here. And we also have another drive, which is a four terabyte SSD drive uh, NVMe on there. So let's go ahead and take a look at system mode. This is if you want to just clone your system. This will allow you to clone the system if you wanted to do that. We also have partition mode down here. Let me click on there and show you that. This is in case you just want to clone a partition. You can use that to copy or clone a 
partition, depending on what one you want to copy or clone. You can choose it up the top as well. Next one, we're going to have got the uh, create a bootable disk. This is going to be great if you want to boot to a rescue disk and clone that way if your PC is not booting properly. And you've got batch mode there as well. We're going to be sticking to disk mode here because we're going to be doing a clone. Now, you've got sector by sector here. I'm not going to go into great detail about sector by sector. But if you want to know about cloning and also a sector by sector copy, then let me know in the comment section. I'll make a video explaining that. Next, we need to select our source. This is going to be our C drive because that's our drive with all our windows and programs on it. And now we need to select our destination or target drive, and that's going to be our USB Sabrent drive. Now we can see disk one and disk two. The disk one is going to be our drive that we're cloning, and we're going to be cloning it to our disk two. The layout is edit your disk layout if you need to make edits, you can do, but pretty much what you would do normally is do auto fit the disk, and this will clone exactly how it is right here. As long as the drive that you're cloning to is big enough to receive the data that you're cloning, you should be good to go. Next, we're going to proceed, and now it's going to estimate the time remaining. It's going to calculate how long it's going to take. I'll speed this process up because it does take a fair bit of time to clone all that information over onto our new drive. And remember, we're cloning to an enclosure. So let's go ahead and let that do its thing. And once that's done, you should see some information coming up on the screen like so. And once that's completed, you will get a message coming up on the screen saying uh, the cloning process has been completed. So you can see here, you cloned your system disk to a USB drive. Do you want to boot to that drive? We don't want to boot to it because we want to now remove the drive and put it into our computer and then we can boot to it and we should then boot straight up and nothing will be lost and we will just be able to upgrade to a newer drive. So for instance, if you had a one terabyte drive and you wanted to clone it to a two terabyte drive, you would obviously be gaining more space. And if this is a good way of cloning and keeping all of your information without doing an install or fresh install of Windows. So we can say no here and we can now click finish. Let me just show you exactly what we've just done inside disk management so you'll be able to see what it looks like once I close the program off. So we don't see anything here. So let me just close this off right here and we will go to disk management. And hopefully when we go there, you will be able to see that we have a complete clone of our original drive. So let me close this program off here and we will then go to our disk management. So yes, we want to exit here. And what we need to do here is right click on the start button here, go to disk management. And if we have a look inside disk management here, let me expand this a little bit more so you can see both the drives right here. We've got drive C and drive A. So we've cloned our disk one to disk two and they're both exactly identical. And all you need to do now is basically remove that from its enclosure and put it into the computer that you want to boot to. Maybe change the boot order uh, to that uh, new drive and you should be pretty much good to go. And it will have all of your programs, data and everything else on there because you've just made a complete clone of the original drive. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.